that camera seems awfully close. Mm -mm. Welcome to Psychic Holistic Spotlight of Rhode Island. I'm Kathy Costa, your host for today, and we have um, Josie Way co-hosting with me. Um, and then we have a repeat guest coming with us today, Kristen Stone. Um, she's been reading for people for a long time now, and a few other ways though, to help us assist in our spiritual path um, and our everyday things. Um, so. Kristen, as I said before, she's been on the show before, so you may recognize her from that. Um, so, Kristen, how long have you been reading now? I know it's been a while. Uh, professionally, 23 years. Okay, yeah, that's a long time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You were telling me a little bit about how you can read people from the beginning to end of their conception. Not, not for this life, but all lives. Right. Yeah, soul. Soul readings. Soul readings. Mm-hmm. Is that different than the Akashic Records? It's actually the same thing as okay. the Akashic Records. It's just not as formal as the okay. Akashic Records. So, you know, I could just jump right in without any prayer, without going into anything major to try and get it to okay. trigger. To get it without yeah. doing hypnosis and stuff. Correct. Yep. Yeah. yeah I do a lot of So do, do you find stuff. a lot of people coming for those, that kind of reading? Yes. Yes. Uh, well, because it's, why am I here? What's going on? How did I get here? How do I get from here? Why am I feeling stuck? What's, you know, so it's all those typical questions we get as readers anyways, mm -hmm. but it's going in depth. It's mm -hmm. not just, here's, here's a little information and you still have to figure it out. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> so I've noticed that though too, the recent, like, even the past year or so, a lot more people are more open to like past lives mm -hmm. and continuing. Right. Con the continuous of, of lives. Right. So I've seen, you must have seen that a lot of that too. Yeah. 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 A lot of past life stuff. Yeah. Because it's like, well, what was I in a past life? Because the thing is, though, is that we're getting stuck on, though, what was past life? Yeah. And what's like, Rather why than the, yeah. what are we, what's going on here that this is coming up so we can, it's called integration. So you, if you can get that past life, you read it into the person, then they can integrate it so they can move mm -hmm. forward without feeling like there's trauma still there. Yeah. Because you get stuck mm -hmm. if you're not dealing with something. Right. But you, you get know. stuck focusing on the past, yeah. regardless of whether it's this lifetime or past lifetimes. We get stuck yeah. on what was going on then. Well, yeah. what's going on now? Yeah. So help bring it forward so that you can get there yeah. and then be able to actually see from here on forward. Do you do, you do soul retrieval with it? Yes. Yes. Yep. That actually is part of it. Yeah. Um, so again, that's why it's a little different are, than the Akashic. There, there are parts of our souls that break off mm -hmm. during trauma, and we need to get them back. Right. Exactly. It's. I wouldn't say it breaks off, though. It kind of separates. It just. Yeah. It's still in the field. It's still with you. It's just you're not um, able to get back to it. So yeah. or get it back to you yeah. in some ways. So it literally comes back anyways during these readings because it's like, it feels safe. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it knows it's safe to come back. Correct, yep. You've done the healing work mm -hmm. and you're not gonna get into that traumatic event again. Right, and it, you won't have to have triggers that go along with it either. Yeah. So it's, it's removing all the sources of any pain or anything that has happened all at once rather than trying to do it layer by layer. Yeah, well, it's kind of like someone who has a problem in their hip and they had a, a bad accident and they go, I, I know of a case. It, apparently he was a soldier with a wound injury in his hip. Right. And that in, in, in battle, and it was very traumatic for him. Right. And uh, he never let go of that trauma. So he had another injury this lifetime. Yep. Or sometimes to help it, him the, let go of it. The injury will happen at the same time it happened in the past life as well. Uh -huh. So then now it's carried forward. So here's the injury again. So now at it's the same age. Time. Same age. Yep. Same age. Like scars you'll get will be scars or wounds from the past. It's the same lifetimes. Same past life. And just here's the same age range that it happened in. Yeah. Yeah. So that also explains though too though why someone might think though they're gonna like pass away at the age of twenty. Right. But yet, though, they're 25, though, when you're talking to them. Yep. Yeah. You know, and I've seen that, though, too, though, where, like, you know, they like, say, you know, they, they think they're going to pass at 20, 
and they, they're coming to me at 18 years old. Right. You know, and, mm -hmm. and, but it's not what I'm seeing for them in this life. Yep. So that, that's, that's part of that. Those like, you know, it's right. like just sometimes knowing what, what yeah. happened before helps. Right. Yeah. That. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And sure. that's why, you know, getting it to integrate is the biggest piece because now you're integrating those parts of yourself that you feel that you've lost, which were always there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, life is not complex enough as it is to add past lives into our lives mm -hmm. and, and allow those traumas to affect us right. is terrible. You know, and we don't know that it's just like if you're an empath, in the beginning you don't know whose feelings it is. You're picking right. up someone else's or it's your own feelings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And you have to help people sort it out. Right, but you, you have know. to sort out yourself first. Yeah, well, <laughs> you have to realize that, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like not It's not all me. Right, yeah. And there is, it's a simplified version, though, and on actually that formula you can use to get through that as well, just by, you know, asking yourself, you know, just knowing where you stand first, and then if you enter a room, do you feel different if you do? That's not yours. So yeah. it's just constant, just finding yourself self-aware of the process before you find the process. Yeah. It helps. Yeah. I have a little, uh oh, I call it, mm. that, <laughs> that pops up and I realize that, you know, I've, I've hit some negative energy. Right. You know, and it's, mm -hmm. and, and I know it's not me. Right. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, what I've, what I've um, noticed with some people, though, too, though, you know, if you ask, you know, spirit side, God, whatever that, how you believe, if this is not mine, please take it away, and it goes away, yes. it's like it was never mm -hmm. yours to begin with. Right. Yeah. So I find that very helpful, though, for a lot of us. Yeah, that is helpful. Yeah. Boundaries. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big one. That boundaries. is a big one, yeah. If so that, you find self-boundaries first, it actually will work much quicker than trying to find boundaries with others. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's easier for it to bounce back, though. You know, in a way. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we have to. So yeah. see it from somebody else before we see it for ourselves. Yeah. But if you really look at it, though, and, and again, just become more self-aware and, and know what you're doing, then you're going to get it. And yeah. It'll just be so much easier. Yeah. So what I find, though, going back to the soul readings, mm -hmm. that um, sometimes, like, sometimes people know what they have to do, but they keep coming back, though, expecting, like, a different answer. Yeah. Like, like right. the resolution is going to be different, though, but it's mm -hmm. like, no, it's like, you got to go through this. You got to... So, like the client still, only knows what they have to do. They're tri still trying to fix something that was wrong, and it, when it's with certain relationships, and you have to accept that this is the way it is. Mm -hmm. It's it, some things are not, you know, that romance from your teens is no longer a romance mm. for you. Yeah. You have to grow up. Yeah, it's more acceptance, they, and that's why people cycle and cycle and cycle, because they can't accept the answer. They yeah. can't accept that that's gone or that's lost because they feel like they've, they've lost something outside of themselves when really it was a part of themselves, what was shown to them, and they weren't able to grasp that. So bring it back into what they are looking for and, now, and have them find it for themselves or feel it for themselves actually gets out of that cycle. Yeah. It helps them actually learn how to. Yeah. And you give them the hope that they will be able to break the cycle. Right. You know, because most of the time you think you're, you think the relationship is different, it's new, it's not, it doesn't have the same problems. But or after a while, you see the same behaviors in a different way. Right. Mm -hmm. And you realize that you're not healed. That's when you go see a reader <laughs> <laughs> for that assistance, though, for sure. Yes. Have you ever come across when people get so so stuck in something you can't see past the situation? So that's presented to to you. That's what like what's going on in their life though right now. Like like say for example though it's like the, like the one now that can't seem to go forward from what the version of it is going through right now. Right. 
and they're looking to see like okay what's what's going to happen next but you don't see anything though because they can't get past what they're going through right now do you see what i'm saying yeah i could say i couldn't see what's going on next but it's again this is when you go into it's a like free will yeah. so yeah then you have to go well here's what i'm seeing for you on your side but remember the other side has free will still so yeah. You can give them options of where things are going, but then also kind of go backwards on them and here's your stuff. Like, it's not about looking at and looking for that, that answer mm -hmm. that's going ahead. Actually, sometimes if we're if getting blocked on that, that means you have to kind of go backwards a little bit back into them and mm -hmm. what they're stuck on. Yeah, yeah. Because it, you can't tell anything going forward. Like, you can give them options and choices, but we can never, you know, read the future mm -hmm. in that aspect when there's more than one person involved. Yeah. Well, right. Because over, there's yeah. too many choices. Right. Right. Involved. Free will. Yeah. It's a huge thing. Yeah. Yeah. I have a client who uh, every time she calls me, I she says, can you do me a reading? I said, I, I say to her, have you done the work with your parents yet? Mm -hmm. Because you're not going to be able to move forward mm -hmm. until you do that work. Yeah, that's what I right. found though with this particular customer. You know, Me too. And she's disappointed. Yeah. She's disappointed right. that you know certain things aren't going to unfold, but they're not going to. She's not going to attract anything. Right. Yeah. Except more of the same. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you said something before. Now, this is not the only thing you do. No. You do a lot of things. Yes. And one of them is interdimensional healing. Yes. Yes. Multidimensional healing. Multidimensional. Yeah. Okay. See, favorite. I have them going to different places. <laughs> right. <laughs> it all works. <laughs> I, a travel agent for this is years. <laughs> so what is the multidimensional dimensional healing? Um, what is that? It's so... I learned a system called New Paradigm MDT, um, John Armitage. So he had, it used to be called Shabala, and they changed it over to the New Paradigm because there was a whole legal yeah, thing and everything else. Yeah, the name of the title. Yeah, there was a whole thing with that. But he changed the system too, where it's literally, you're pulling in from all different dimensions, which means, you know, of course, this kind of sounds now sci-fi-ish, but the interdimensional healing is healing all parts of yourself from different times and spaces uh -huh. is really what that is and with that type of healing you're able to really get it from many different levels so it can really help get you know somebody further along in their healing process and they'll understand more out, even after the healing's done it's not just something that lasts for like 72 hours this is something that keeps going is it an energy healing it's an energy healing yes so is this separate than the separate than the parallel universes, the parallel dimensions? Yes, it's different than that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's because uh, it doesn't just go one direction or another; it goes all uh, directions. Okay. You know, because the parallel ones it tends to stack. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's that is how we see it, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> so it's all different times, though, for yes. that, though. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because oh. I find that sometimes people have a hard time understanding that past, present, and future kind of happens all at the same time on the spirit side. Because right. it doesn't work like the way it does here on this side. Right, yeah, because yeah. spirit's like, well, you're here and now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing before you, there's nothing after you. What, do you. what is it you want here and now? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, that's, that's, you know, the directions that a lot of the readings will go into, or healings will go into, is like here and now. Let's put you here and now. Let's clear up any energies that you were working through anything that was going on, any traumas, anything, let's move all that and see what's actually yours. Because after you get through family stuff, after you get through all of that, through the multi-dimensional healing, then now here you're free and clear. And when you walk out, now you be able to recognize what's what, like on an easier basis, here's what you need to look for, because all the information will come through for each person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really cool. And, yeah, it is. <laughs> you read cards too? Yes. Yep. I, I, actually, I started reading, that's how I started with all of this, was reading cards. I bought my first deck of cards when I was 15. Uh -huh. I actually still use the same deck now. <laughs> hey, if it works, you know. <laughs> right? And, and that's over 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, and so I do the tarot cards. Um, again, though, like, I'll lay them out, and it's more for visual for people, but the story's right in front of you, and it, you can see it. It's a confirmation of what Yeah, it's here you can see your them. book. In the way they're laid out too, because I don't follow. There's no yeah. guidelines. Now, what do you and mean? I by like that. I I make copies of it so they can take it home with them. Mm -hmm. 
So what do you mean by book? Is that so the... when the cards are laid out, they, they tell you the story. Okay. And so it's your book. Okay. So whoever shuffle them, that, yeah. whoever, you know, whatever you're laying, whoever you're laying out for, because it's not yours, it's mm -hmm. whatever the client's is, and it's a book. So it's, it's like a story, is yeah. what you mean, yeah. Yep. yeah. You know, you go past, present, future, this, that, you know, yeah. I stay out of that and just lay out as a book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because nothing, nothing's separate. Yeah. Yeah, because it is a story. Everything is all a continuation, yeah. a continuation of everything. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is what I like about this life. We are all connected. Yes. Everything is connected. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like a crazy pinball game. E everyone we touch is affected by us. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're affected by everyone who comes in our, in our aura. Yes. Yep. I like it when you know, a client comes to us and they start seeing the patterns that, that they keep repeating. Yeah. So once they realize that's like, okay, I got to stop this and make yes, you do, <laughs> you know, it's, it keeps happening. Right. Right. So, you know, it's just, it's just, you know, coming to, to come to realize that, which is part of the book that you're referencing. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of times people forget that we're here for life lessons and experiences, though. We're here for that. Yeah. You know, we choose what yeah. we go through. Well, a lot of times I think, I think people do learn and the lessons that are repeated let's say about being controlled. Mm -hmm. They may be being controlled much more subtly, not as right. obviously mm -hmm. as, you know, they were before. And they have to learn how to deal with that subtle control. Right, but they also have to see where they're controlling too. Yes. Because if you acknowledge you yours, where you yours it. is, then therefore now you'll break the cycle of being controlled by others. Yeah. So it's a way of healing in, in a lot of ways if you just look at, again, self stuff. Yeah. And the control piece is big because, again, it's being presented externally and there's a part of you that's doing it somewhere. Some, and you might yeah. be deeply hidden, you might not believe it at first, but then you'll notice it. Like when I do my readings, people will notice it right away within a few days and go, oh my God, I was doing that. And they'll see yeah. their situation and go, oh my God. And then they start changing it and they're like, wow, my whole life's changed. Like, and it's just, well, you took control. You took control of yourself, so yeah. then therefore nobody else could take control. Right. Because now you're aware. It's really yeah. big. It, it, it's one of the big issues. Mm -hmm. That and balance. Yes. Being healthy and balanced is, for me, is one of my biggest life issues. You know, always, always checking myself because I, I just don't have natural balance. <laughs> I don't think many of us do. <laughs> Even I find balance is hard sometimes, but when I feel out of balance, I'll take a few days off and just go relax. Yeah. Because doing this type of work, it's hard to stay balanced. You yes. want to help people. You want to do this. You want to do that. Like, it's not even about the money anymore. It's about just keeping yourself in line too, because balance is very difficult, mm -hmm. you know, because you just want to help as many people as possible, um, get through their stuff and everything else. But if you don't find balance, yeah, because it's at the expense of us if you <laughs> well, don't. Yeah. Even Mother Teresa said she had to stop. Yeah. She had to take time and stop and yep. rest because mm -hmm. she was getting ready to collapse. Right. And someone else told her, you can't do it all. Right. We like to it, think we can. As yeah, much, I know. As much, as you, as, much yeah. as you want to, right. you yeah. can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, I always say at least once a month, take three days off. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good rule of thumb. Yeah. Well, because you find, like, at the end of the month, it's like, all right, you know, whether it's, you know, financial quarter or just quarter, or you just feel like you're starting to get taxed, like, the end of the month is the best time. Just take a few days. Mm -hmm. You know, you're good. And just relax in those few days so that you can get that breathing room that you need. Yeah. Yeah. It's important because you're just as important as anybody else, mm -hmm. and yeah. even more so. We hire, you know, it's not that we're higher than anybody else or better than anybody else, but we hold better standards. For we know our stuff because we know ourselves yeah. more because we've done the work. But at the same time, you're looking at, you know, that's how we get burnt out. <laughs> if you keep going, yeah, right, because you want to just keep going, keep going, keep going, and just it's like, oh yeah, step back, breathe, mm -hmm. <laughs> sit in the other room, let's let's observe for a little while rather than having to be in part of it. Have, have you noticed a trend with 
your clients, that they're beginning to, because it's become the power of attraction, because it's become the, the law of attraction, uh, it's become very public, and that people are beginning to understand that they attract some of their problems to themselves. Yes. They, they're, beginning, they're beginning to get it. And that's pretty wonderful. Yes. Oh, absolutely. It's great to see them. Because like it's, it's basically like they're waking up to themselves again. Yeah. And seeing that they're creating problems or creating drama or creating yeah, that falls on their the life's problems. Yeah. And, it, you know, and some people even admit it, but yet they still don't, they can't get them, themselves out of that headspace or that belief uh -huh. system that they have that, that it's always going to be there. Mm. And that's, you know, that's again why they come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that definitely falls under the self-fulfilling prophecy. Too, mm -hmm. though, if you think something's going to keep happening, it's going to be keep happening. Yeah. You know, with the with the power of attraction, we certain to attract certain yeah. things. Yes. Well, yeah. if you think you can't succeed, you're not going. You're to, not yeah. going to. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 The universe can't give you what you think you don't deserve. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we forget that. What I have noticed myself, particularly from the last job that I had, um, I'm retired now was there's an awful lot of low self-esteem issues in people. A lot of girls really are coming through with very low self-esteem and they attract unhealthy mm -hmm. relationships. Yeah, they don't think they can stand on their own two feet. Yeah. What, what do you have to tell people like that? to help them break that cycle. See, the thing is, though, is I see it from both sides, men and women. I've yeah. seen men just as oh, beat I've down as women, men, yeah. and I've seen quite a few men with the same issues women are having, um, just in different levels, because it's, it's literally on both sides equally. I won't say it's on more women or more men, because women are now doing well, it to I saw men, one, men. I saw mostly women yeah. clients. Yeah, I, you know, most of my clients are women too, but then it's also like you're hearing about their boyfriends or this, that, and the other, but at the same time, when somebody else is involved, you can't just read their energy. You have to be able to get the other person's energy as well. So now you're seeing both sides of it, because sometimes there's, there's um, how they're perceiving each other, how things are perceived from them, from their traumas, is now being brought into these relationships which then yeah. can seem unhealthy. I'm not saying it's all like not negating anything, but there's also the part that, you know, each one's playing in it. Cause yeah. Oh, I know. It's, there it's are passed some, back there and are forth. There are vicious cycles, you know, it, oh, where yeah. there's, there are triangles, mm -hmm. you know, like you've heard of the, you know, the, you know, the, the husband, wife, and, and boyfriend or, or girlfriend. Mm. But, there are other tr but there are other triangles that are much more destructive than that. Right. You yeah. know, yeah. The, ab the abuser uh, yeah. and the victim, and then a mm. reactionary abuser. Right. B between two people going through this mm -hmm. cycle. And the thing is, is they'll, everybody will do it to each other. I've seen it from both sides, so I can't say, you know. Yeah, well, it happens. That's it what I'm happens saying. It's a reaction all over the place. And, you know, usually when that's happening, it's, again, bring it back to, you know, the individual we're, we're working with as a client and go, okay, but what, where's your stuff? Yeah. So they can get out of it, because that's the empowerment piece, again, yeah. with anything, is self, our controlling nature, our issues, our stuff, and bring it back into, into that and their issues, and, and just keep going back into the client basis. And that way, they're, they're just focusing on there, so they can find their way out. They can find what they uh -huh. need. They can strengthen themselves. So whether it's male or female, either way, you just bring it back to themselves. It's not he's doing this or she's doing that. It's not none of that, because you keep them out of that victim mode and of what yeah. somebody else might be doing. You bring yourself back in, bring them back into who they are, and give yeah. them, because that's the empowerment piece that's stronger than anything else, because that teaches them to love themselves and understand where things are at. And also, you also see that where someone can't can't be single, but they keep having to have a relationship going. You know, right. they, you know, they end one and then they got to get into another one right away. It's like, okay, you've got to find yourself and you can only do that though by yourself. <laughs> you yes. Have to do some healing work yeah. in between. Yep. Yeah, so very yep. similar Unless to you'll this. have the same, you'll yeah. have a sa the same sort of a relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, because yeah. of the part of you that hasn't healed yet. 
All right, so do you have a phone number and email people can get a hold of you? Yes, um, email is illuminating.light.com um, and the phone number is 508-818-0675. Okay, because yeah, we're almost at the end of the episode though, so yes. I don't want to actually get that yes. in though so people yeah. can get hold of you right. for that though. Yep. Um, so is there anything else that, we, that you do or is that covers everything that you do? No, I do everything. <laughs> that's just sorry surface. like you know it's it's and that's the thing is like people keep telling me and it's funny because other readers will say to me well you need to define yourself well why like I don't need to be defined in any way whatever somebody comes to me and they need they get mm -hmm. that's it like um, if they need me if mediumship needs to come through it comes through for the healing of grief if you know it's oh, if they the, want the cards well, here's labels, the cards yeah. like here's it's whatever anybody needs so it's like you know, it, the, the picture means a thousand words. Well, you come before me, you're going to see yourself. You're going to see what comes in because I also can, you know, you know, people will be like, oh, you're reading my mind. I'm like, no. <laughs> 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 I was just thinking that the other day. Yes, I know. Um, but it's, again, just hearing what, who they are. So the, I, in a way, it's like seeing themselves on a higher level. Yeah. Because it's that mirror piece. Yes. But they that, can see their higher selves, and now they're talking to their higher selves, so they're getting all that information. So I'm just the one sitting there just holding that energy for them, yeah. and whatever's coming through is actually them. Yeah. Um, what I was seeing as you were speaking was a mirror, mm -hmm. that looking in the mirror and keep the focus on yourself mm -hmm. and keep working on yourself, right. and everything around you will start to heal. It heals, it changes, you grow. It doesn't necessarily go in the direction you want it, mm -hmm. but some, some people get healthier in other relationships, mm -hmm. and some people just drop by the wayside. Right. It's, it's them, want, you know, it's their life's path. It's, you know, either way is still right for them. Yeah. It just a, doesn't matter. Yeah. And they fall wayside, well, then that they're this lifetime, that's where they want to be at this point. And at some yeah. point, maybe it'll click, maybe it won't, but it's not up to yeah. anybody to make it happen. I, I have a message for people that, who are going through that. It takes time, but sometimes people do heal. Mm -hmm. It took six years for my ex-husband to become sober. Mm -hmm. but, and I wasn't the one that healed him. It was through friends and programs. Right. But he also was ready. Yeah. Well, he, he had heard. Addictions are hard. He had, <laughs> he had had enough seeds planted mm -hmm. that he finally found his way. And he, 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 he passed away sober. So hopefully that'll be the last time he had to learn that lesson. Yeah. That yeah. he's learned that, though. Yep. So sometimes the lessons are tough to learn. Yeah. yeah. So anyhow, he yeah. made a big... Big advance mm -hmm. in his life path. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And just overcoming that and then being able to just, and that was his last piece of his life to move forward. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's interesting, though, too, though, it's like where it might be like a lesson for me to learn, but yet, though, it's, I keep learning it with the same people. You know, it's like the same people, though, it's like it's are there. So it's like, you know, sometimes it's a joint lesson, though, for both parties, so it's like, okay, well, I gotta go through this though, but yet the mind lesson might be different than yours, even though it's the same right. topic, the right. same idea, right. same yep. concept for yep. it though. So, you know, it's like, it's, we don't learn it, we don't always learn the same same lesson, mm -hmm. even though it might yeah. be the same concept of for it. Right. And some people learn slower than others. Yeah. Sometimes I'm a very slow student. <laughs> <laughs> I call that processing. <laughs> I like some days, like yeah. a couple of days, sometimes it's a few years, whatever. We all have our <laughs> own way of processing everything that goes on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just always find it interesting when it takes a few lifetimes of us to learn that. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Yeah, you have to realize that some lessons are not meant to be learned in one lifetime. Yeah, it usually takes a few it lifetimes. It takes a yeah. few. Yeah, usually yeah. it does. It's very rare when it's just one lifetime for something to get learned, for mm -hmm. us to kind of get it. Right. You know. Sometimes it just takes a while. I've seen it take like five or six lives a few times, but it usually yeah, takes a little more than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the common one. It takes a little right. while. 
it was quick than maybe two, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, and some of us have chosen more challenging lives. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, they all saw with, the more complex. With little gluttons <laughs> for punishment. Oh my God. Right, so but again, we can still choose to open or close those books if we want to. Yes. Yeah. So do we want to really want to learn this lesson again? No, okay, good. Like, let's put that aside for next lifetime. We're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting.